it's the culmination of five years and it's, it's getting that first class that you've dreamed of. I didn't realize someone could be that happy. Honestly, the come down from after that day was intense. Um, and it was so great to be surrounded by my friends. Hi, my name is Saad. I'm a Syrian refugee and an Irish citizen, and I have just graduated medicine from the Royal College of Surgeons. So I came to Ireland when I was 14. In, in school, I was probably people's first Syrian, people's first refugee, people's first Muslim, people's first Arab. <laughs> so, um, but I'm, I'm not someone who, I'm not, I don't let myself be othered, if that makes sense. There is absolutely a lot to say for Irish people being very welcoming in general as well. One of my first times in Dublin, walking past RCSI, and I told them this is where I'm going to go. So it's always been, <laughs> it's always been RCSI, and I've always known that this is where I'll, I'll end up. So it is very rewarding now that you reminded me of that um, to look back and be like, yep. Yeah. It hasn't sunk in yet that I'm a doctor. I have been getting emails <laughs> saying, Dear Doctor, which has been quite an experience. It really does feel surreal and I think it won't sink in until I'm on the wards and I'm being called to do things. <laughs> My goal is to be the best doctor that I can be, um, to be kind of that source of strength and confidence and security for my patients in the future. So I can't wait to be in that position of privilege. And I think for me over the years, seeing people who look like me in healthcare like that, the representation has always meant a lot to me. And if I can be that for someone, that would be the greatest honor. <laughs>